my name is Ann Barham. I've been working as a past life therapist since 1997, taking people from a wide variety of backgrounds, walks of life, and belief systems into their memories of their own prior lifetimes. It's become clear over the years that the more that we really connect with the reality of prior lifetimes, the greater we realize the commonality in the human experience. I believe that prior lifetimes operate almost like the great equalizer, helping us really understand that we've probably been on both sides of most issues across the ages. It's my hope that as more and more people connect with their prior lifetimes, we'll really begin to build a greater tolerance for the differences in the world. No matter what our current situation is, our current beliefs, ethnic origin, gender, that we've probably been on the other side of that equation at some point in time. With past life work, we experience ourselves in a different body and personality, a different time and place and life circumstance, situations that might be dramatically different from our current life. And we get a real sense of what life was like from that different point of view. We also realize that when we're in that prior body and personality that we believe our way is the right way. That our religion, our culture, our beliefs of the time determine our actions and decisions. And that at any particular point in time, we really do believe that we're correct. Let me give you a few for instances from clients. I've had uh, so many people come in, and, but a few stories just kind of jump out in my mind. Um, I had a woman who was an Episcopal priest come in and she went to a prior lifetime as a Mormon plural wife, completely different belief system than that which she followed today. Um, a young man who had memories of being in Vietnam as a fighter from the American side went to a lifetime where he was a Nazi flyer in World War II completely devoted to the fatherland and feeling like he had completely failed his mission when his plane went down. I had a professional woman who came in and she went to three different lifetimes as a man. One as a Neanderthal type, very early history figure. One as a black man in the 1940s who was devoted to philanthropic work. And then another as a teacher in India where he was inappropriately accused of sexually abusing his students. So again, very wide, wide range of experience there as far as also cultures, nationalities, and that type of thing. I had a woman from a very conservative Indian family um, go to a lifetime in the Middle Ages in Canterbury, England, where she was fighting off Viking invaders. Um, so again, just amazing differences and things that people didn't expect in the least coming up in these prior lifetimes. So as we explore our past lifetimes and we notice the different locations we live in, we realize how ardent we are about our religious beliefs, and we get in touch with the variety in the political, social, and moral values that we hold, we just see the broad expanse of our human experience. We find that we switch gender, religion, race, social standing, and even our position as perpetrator or victim of a perpetrator across, across the lifetimes. So we really gain a very broad worldview from past life work. And it doesn't mean that we excuse actions that we see as untenable today but perhaps it can help us understand and relate more to the diversity of thought and feeling and expression that there is in the world and learn to treat each other with greater kindness, compassion, and understanding despite the outward differences. I hope that this worldview can help us avoid rushing to quick judgment because in reality, we've probably been there and done that in the past. And if we haven't, we, we may very well do so in the future. So I'm hoping that this lesson of the oneness of humanity can continue to grow, and I believe that past life therapy can really play a role in that transition.
If you're interested in learning more, please visit my website, www.pastlives.org. That's plural, past lives. And keep an eye out for my book in which I share some of the most interesting and entertaining client stories that I've had over the years. Thank you.